Bienvenidos, welcome, welcome back. We're going to Veronica Mars season one, episode three. Last episode was a bit more in the overarching mystery. We find out that none of the Canes actually have an alibi because the time of death of Lily Kane, I think was her name, was at least two hours off. And then the episode itself had its own, uh, its own mystery, which I hope there are more standalone mysteries throughout the season. I enjoy it. I love it. I love a who done it. Now we're going to go on to episode three. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. I enjoy comments. It's my favorite part. I also have a Patreon going on for full lengths of episodes, movies. I've seen Serial Mom, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Come over, have a good time. Let's get into the episode. Sarah Kramer, you are gay. The girl's a mannequin. Yeah, she's cute. She's not hot. The cheek, the nerve, the gall, the audacity, and the gumption. Who the hell do they think they are? I will be cruising the marina in my dad's Sabre 386. That's a luxury sailboat. No Boat. My okay. hair. And with any luck, a wide-eyed, impressionable vixen by my side. Impressionable? Me? Ha! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said impressionable, not, not you. You know, you might really want to check your ego at the door there, Missy. <laughs> The weird thing about going I'm gonna assume at some point I'm gonna find out why he broke up with her. I am too paranoid to have a non-waterproof electronic at the pool. Ooh, it's a nice pool. I think that you should write him a letter and you should express your interest in politics. I I don't think he cares about that. So I got a call from your guidance counselor today and she wants to see me. Have you been playing nice with the other children? You know, Dad, I'm old school. An eye for an eye. I think that's actually old testament. <laughs> what do you think mom was doing at the Camelot Motel with Jay Kane two weeks ago? Dun, dun, dun. I told you to stay away from that kid. And she's only in Arizona. Why haven't you been looking Veronica, for her? Veronica, please. Looking for her? She left him. I, I'm pretty sure it's her choice. And also, I'm going to assume he did not tell the father about the Kanes no longer having an alibi. Just because we didn't see it. I feel like she has a right to know about her mom. And what she was doing, or who she was doing. No. But Anything. difficult for the father, it is his wife. You know, he's not gonna get into a good college without some defining interests. I think we could be a little more patient, Jake. I'm gonna go to the library, okay? Don't wait up. I'm going to go out, don't wait up. Do teenagers get that kind of freedom in real life? I didn't. Am I saying this for a reason? Ah, oh, dreaming. Excellent recommendation, as always. Thank you. Kevin Spacey is so amazing. Check out body. Isn't he He's like late. 14? But I'm not gonna watch it. There's only so many times a girl can watch a slap shot, you know what I'm saying? Can I talk to you about something? It's kind of private. <laughs> no, Ew, don't drink from the garden, right? disgusting. Darling, there's absolutely no shame in taking antidepressants. There is no shame. Take care of your mental health. Ah, he is not taking them. Veronica, are we okay? Let's go out. Finally, the girl comes to her senses. <laughs> did, you, did you hook up with Shelly last night? She's a talker. Family I hate it when they talk. Yeah, I know. When they talk. That guy is such an ass. Kid in town has uh, been all over your trailer park ex. Let it be, Logan. I don't get it. She's not Logan's ex. Why is he so obsessed? Did he just leave his bag? You okay? Never better. Wait, what was he looking at in his bag? Do you think you could help find someone for me? Who? M my father. He ran out about 10 years ago. Well, yeah. Hey! Office hours, sorry. But mainly, I just gotta know what happened to him, you know? What can you tell me about him? Okay, can you get me a picture? Mom destroyed them all. Date of birth? Uh-uh. Oh, you have nothing, kid. Oh, I don't want you to worry. Veronica is an excellent student. So, so in these episodes, I see actors and actresses, and I'm like, oh, I know them from something, but I don't know if I'm just remembering them from the first time I saw Veronica Mars. I'd say Veronica's doing pretty well, given the circumstances. Where are you going with all this? Look, if you find this difficult, and many single fathers or daughters do, I would be more than happy to talk to her. I can handle it, thank you. This could have been an email. Raise your glasses, everyone. I'd like to make a toast. To Molly. Molly, who's Molly? Our old dog, the lab. 
Sweet old Molly, God rest her soul. If only she had the good sense not to whiz in our flower bed, she'd still be with us. Did they kill the dog? It's been six years. When are you going to let this go? I'm sure she was placed in a very happy home. Oh, wow. You can already tell the parents are assholes that took away the kid's dog because he, they weren't properly housebroken. No, wait, flower beds. They were peeing outside. What, what more did she want? I'm serious. She's working this case for me. She's going to help me find my missing dad. But didn't your dad die like seven years ago? Well, then I guess it's going to take her a long time to find him. What an ass. What a little, I assume, freshman ass. Uh, Wallace is a friend of mine. Take that, high school guidance counselor. <laughs> Hello, Wallace. Helping a kid at school locate his deadbeat dad. So I'm sending each of them a letter addressed to his son, congratulating him on a scholarship, and call to say he's got the wrong address. Part of me is proud, and let's just leave it at that. Is she getting paid for this? Oh. The next time you're in the administration's office, could you borrow my permanent file? Oh, yeah, no big deal. I can get it spelled for that. <laughs> Damn, Ms. Applebaum loved her some Veronica Mars. I miss cargo pants. So convenient. Any lead yet? We should know something by next week. Oh, hey, I got something for you. I just burned a few songs for you. It, it made her a mixtape? Thanks. He brought you a mixtape. Shut up. Hey, do me a favor. Again. Please be kidding. Get me his file. So he, <laughs> he's running, he's shouting, saying, no, 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 don't shoot. That's my friend. That's my friend. Save my life. Put yourself in that situation. I got tired of this song. What have been expecting sex? Had that one. Had that one. <laughs> you would have gotten it. Dan. Let me see your phone. Random. What are you doing? It is now booty call enabled. <laughs> I should really get home. <laughs> Give the boy a kiss. But I. <sighs> oh. That's something you don't want to happen. At least he took the rejection cool as a gentleman. How was your day? Lousy conversation, but the sex was fantastic. That's not funny. I'm gonna give the man a heart attack. What's wrong with you, Veronica? What are you waiting for? Oh, we're back to this again. Let it go. Veronica. What did you just call me? Oh. Damn. And we are now broken up. And maybe he should be on medication. I need to talk to Justin. Alone. She's gonna beat up a freshman. Explain this. His behavior is not surprising in light of his mother's recent death. So that was a f***ing lie. You wasted my time. That drives me crazy. And you owe me $150 in postage. It's the uh, scholarship letter that you sent out. And there's a note. His father's alive? from my father what an unexpected turn of events so i'm gonna see you white male pint size desperate not having a good day owes you 150 dollars in postage i showed my mom the letter she got all mad made me promise not to try and find my dad how can i not try and find out what happened to him let me see the letter again yo did you pay the 150 dollars you already owe i don't care if he's a kid the letter Just that I never want you to think your mom's the villain in all this. Isn't she? It's not that simple. Isn't yeah, it? it is. The hero is the one that stays, and the villain is the one that splits. Sounds about right. The truth was, I'd figured out exactly where my mother was staying. Also, it doesn't matter. She's choosing not to contact you. You live in the same house. She knows where you are. Man, uh, lacrosse. Back. No, yeah. field hockey? Yeah. No, lacrosse. You don't suppose that, uh... You got waylaid by Veronica, do you? Logan is obsessed with Veronica. Hey, check it out! Whoa! Oh, 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 look at that. I think I might have given you the wrong impression. I had a really great time. Just that you need more. And, you know, you get to fill in the blank here. A time, B space. Oh, I guess she had enough time. Like, she needed one more night. Oh. <laughs> he needs to go to the hospital. Should, should they be moving him? Death defying stunt, gushing head wound. Are you sure you don't want some? No, thanks. I got it. I would go. Ooh, that green screen thing happening. Uh, no, look good. It look good. Remember how things used to be? Are you bleeding on my seat, boy? I will kill you. Do you want your 
girlfriend is staying here with you? Oh, I'm not his girlfriend. Yeah. Isn't he a minor? Oh, okay. They, call, they did call his parents. Veronica, off a of bleacher? I, I still don't understand how this happened, Duncan. He was very dumb. I miss flip phones a little bit. I mean, smartphones, much better, of course, yes. But the, the feel of flip phone and the... You miss it. And the sound, something just pleasing about it. Going cold turkey off antidepressants can have some serious side effects. I thought he hadn't been taking them at all. But he was taking them and he's going cold Tell turkey off of them. Don't do that. Was, uh, At least not without your doctor's uh, permission. Defense. And you're right. I think I think Veronica does need someone to talk to, and I'm afraid that in this case that I I'm I'm not equipped to be that person. Oh uh You gonna clean that up with tissues? That feels like a paper towel job. Thanks again. Sheriff Morris, you always had my vote. So what does this guy do? My best guess would be petty criminal. Ooh. I mean, I know if I could see him up close, I could ID him. Did you pay the $150? Right, Ooh, that's... Wow, your mom really hated him, didn't she? Oh, well, kid, you can't go in there. Hell, I don't know if she can go in there. Lay low. Try not to look too conspicuous. No, kid! Hey. Damn you, kid! You need something, bro? No, I'm sorry. Let me see the letter again. It's the exact same handwriting. So is he wrong, or is there more to it? I could not be more boring. Whoa. Hallucinations, you say, Doctor. You know, it makes absolutely no sense. My disappearance. Murder. The truth is gonna come out. So his subconscious knows something is up? You know that deep down inside. I wish you'd just admit it to yourself. Wake up. What's this? It's a taser, Ooh. and it's dangerous. She's still a minor, right? So if she gets busted as a, as a juvenile? don't think it qualifies as a classic. And it's been there for a while. Stay right there, I'm calling the police. I followed you and I know what you do. I'm a parole officer. What? <laughs> I'm a friend of your son's and he just wants to see you. I don't have a son. Are you trying to tell me you're not John Smith? Why is he taking a taser? Did his dad... <gasps> Justin. Oh. Dad? I see. Did you also know? I thought you were dead since I was 11. I'm assuming his mother made that choice. Your mother threatened she would say that. I wanted to see for myself that you were all right. Turns out my mom's a liar. And my father is a circus freak. Dude, not cool. This is who I am. A trans storyline was not expected by me. 90 miles. It's the distance your dad travels every week to see you for a few seconds. I've decided to drive to Arizona after school. Is that hallucination going to make him start investigating his sister's death? No, he's going to go back on the pills. Or rather, going back on the pills is fine, but is he going to just try to ignore everything or investigate? How's your head? Better. Okay. Hey, I didn't know you came here. Yeah, I just discovered this place. Yeah, me yeah. too. Mm-hmm. What a coincidence. <laughs> Hello? Julia? It's Justin. Mom? Mom? Can I help you? Oh. I'm Adriana. Hello? A college friend of your mom's. She left a couple weeks ago. To where? Did she say where she was going? No. Damn it. Doesn't she care about me? You're all she cares about. Is she, though? Because phone call. Mark me down as skeptical. The problem with chasing the storm is that it wears you down. Even the experts agree. A girl needs closure. Booty call? I'm outside your house. Alrighty then, that's the end of episode 3 of Veronica Mars. Another good episode. Unexpected storyline was unexpected. But I quite enjoyed the episode. Again, I like the individual mystery. And then the overarching mystery, it's working for me. I wonder if Duncan starting the pills again means that he's going to ignore the little voices in his head and try to just go back to his little box and not investigate anything. Or one thing has nothing to do with the other. He's still going to 
think about his hallucination and maybe his suspicions even though he's back on his medication. I do not understand Logan's obsession with Veronica. You would think that they're the ones that broke up. Good God. Does he like her? Or did he like her, but she was with his best friend? I don't get it. I, I don't get his obsession. And I will forever wonder, did Veronica get her $150? That is the real mystery here. I'll see you on the next episode.